Hello, it's Rachel from Caramel and Cream. Thank you for joining me today. Today's project is a sweet little card we're going to make using the Watercolour Wings stamp set. You will also need, again one of my favourites, Gorgeous Grunge. We're going to use the small speckle for the background. This is the Watercolour Wings set, which is a really lovely set. It's photopolymer and you can layer them up so you can get different effects. And you're also going to use the Number of Years set, which is just for this little flower here. Obviously, if you've got a little flower in another set, then you can use that. It's literally just for decoration. So firstly, we're going to use the Gorgeous Grunge. I've already mounted up the small speckle. And the first colour we're going to use is the Subtles Collection Soft Sky. Just going to ink that up. This card size make is five by five once folded, just in case you need that for information. Just going to randomly stamp. I'm going to stamp once, and then without re-inking, just going to move it around, stamp again, and then stamp one more time. You can see it's, you can still see it just just a hint of the colour. Re-ink up come over to this side, stamp once, again moving it around and again and back down. And that just gives us a nice splatter effect, um, just fading away the colour slightly. I'm just going to move that to the side for a moment and now you need a piece of scrap whisper white and we're going to take the first of our butterfly, so we're going to go with this first and then we will layer with this one and then lastly we'll layer this one. So taking the first colour, sorry the first stamp, again using soft sky, just going to ink that up. And just push onto your scrap. Doesn't matter whereabouts as long as you leave enough room to cut out with the framelits that we're going to use in a moment. Push down firmly to try and get as even coverage as you can. And lift off. Now we're going to take our second colour which is going to be pool party with our second stamp. So we're layering up as we go and we're also layering up the colour as well. And then line over as best as you can and push down. You can see it's giving a slightly different tone there. Now while you have the pool party open, I'm going to take the central body of the butterfly, just ink that gently as well, and as best as you can into the centre of your butterfly. Sometimes it's easier to do this um, after you've cut it out with a framework, so we'll see how we go with that, whether it's central or not. It won't matter too much because you are going to cover most of it. I just need to clean off one of my stamps just so that I can use the block for the next shape. So just bear with me while I do that. Okay, so our third butterfly stamp. And this time we're going to use Bermuda Bay. So all blues, all different shades. I'm just going to ink that up. Oops, missed a little bit. There we go. Again, lining up over as best as you can. Push down firmly. You do find sometimes with the photo um, polymer stamps that you do actually need to give a, a bit more pressure than you would with the normal ones. And there we go. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to use the Bold Butterfly Framelit dies. And there's two in this, and you're actually going to use both of them. So the first one you can see will just fit over our butterfly like so. You see where I've not quite got the body in the right position, we're a little bit too high. It doesn't matter, like I say, for this, but just if you wanted to, you could leave 
doing the body until after you've cut it out. So I'm just going to move to the side and run this through my big shot one second off camera. You've seen me lay this up before. If you're not sure how to use the big shots, have a look at one of my other videos and I show you in a bit more detail how you need to layer it up. I'm just going to run that through. Run it through one way and then back through the other just to make sure you get a nice clean cut. My plates are getting a little bit very well, not a little bit, very worn, so sometimes fine it doesn't cut quite out the first time. There, that one's fine. And then this one, I've just got a scrap of pool party. I'm just going to run that through the big shot as well. This one you do kind of need to run through twice just because it's more intricate the detail. There we go. And then I just use my little piercing tool just to push through little holes and as you can see it's starting to loosen it. Don't pull at it because you will bend your cardstock. So just take your time to push it through. Sorry about my phone washing in the background, there's emails coming through. And there we go. Nope, still attached at the top somewhere. There you go. And then you can just use your tool to push all the other pieces out so it's ready to use the next time. Always keep your frame that's nice and clear of cardstock so that you get a perfect cut image each time you use them. Okay, let's move those bits out of our way. Oops, they're all sticking to me. <laughs> okay, bringing back in our card. And we're just going to, on the back of our butterfly, just going to lift the wings slightly. Just going to glue down the centre there. It's a little bit of Tombow. And just place it at an angle where you think it would look nice. Just going to go there. Just hold for a moment. And then with our next butterfly that we've cut out, Again, just lift the wings slightly with your fingers. Put some glue down the middle. Put it to the centre. Just hold for a moment till it sets. Okay, while that's setting, in the stamp set butterflies you also have this little sentiment we have a couple of sentiments we're going to use a just for you one I really like the script writing of this one so I have that mounted up we're going to go back again to the soft sky and cut your stump and just gently position it into the bottom corner Well, so we have the soft sky open. We'll also take our little flower from the number of years set and just get that out and mount that onto our block. <clears throat> you see there's a little flower. I'm just going to ink that again gently with the soft sky. I'm just going to randomly put three flowers dotted around for a little bit of added interest. Go on there. Then the last little detail that we're going to do is some of our basic jewel pearls. I'm going to take two of the larger ones. You could if you wanted. These are in strips all joined together. So you could cut down three or four of those if you wanted and they'll all come off together just to put in. I quite like the effect of the larger pearl in the middle. So I'm going to go with two of these next to each other. And they just fill the body nicely. And lastly these really little small ones we're just going to use for the centre of the little flowers that we opt on. Oops, doesn't want to come off. Sticking to my finger. <laughs> 
think I have a bit of glue on that finger there. There we go. The last one. There we go. And then we have a quick and easy but very, very pretty card. Hope you like it. Hope you give it a go. Please pop back soon for my next project. Bye.